this is going to be a this is going to be a mess. Yeah. <laughs> One word. So, Glenn, what's the biggest question? You were on take five. You were on take five earlier today. What's the biggest question that people have about the shutdown? So we actually put in some new uh, questions in there. We were addressing questions on our Tunnel Effect Facebook page. Um, one of the questions, will the new tunnel have cell service? Uh, will my GPS device? So let's take cell service first, if we can hold the teleprompter right there. The answer is yes. There will be cell service in the tunnel. Obviously, you're not supposed to be using your hands, but they're built into a lot of cars and device in 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 those situations built on the vehicles now. So you will have cell service. Okay, next up, will my GPS device work in the tunnel? Because that relies on satellites, right? Well, yeah, it relies on satellites, but there, there's the ability, they kind of figure their way out. You know, if you drive through the Battery Street Tunnel, when I do, my, my GPS keeps working, at least for a while. Um, bottom line here is the Seattle Department of Transportation has been in discussions with Google and Waze and the companies that will do that to have them all ready to go by the time the actual opening happens, which again we hope is February 4th. So if there's a major accident, this is the other thing people want to know, if there's a major accident on one of those decks, can the other deck be turned into two-way traffic or is that is it not set up that way? That was a really good question <laughs> we got last night again on our, our Tunnel Effect Facebook page. The bottom line is no, there's really not a, I mean there's hard barriers there between the lanes and of course they're running parallel then they switch and they come up and then they'll be stacked inside the tunnel then they'll spread out again and then they will be side by side mm -hmm. so there's not like temporary jersey barriers that you can switch so if they did that that would be extremely difficult well, let me ask a follow-up to that just thinking the about no. thinking about what happened when you have the battery street tunnel closed. this is going to be a much longer tunnel and if you get traffic if you've got a major accident, that how do you how do you get out, or are people stuck in that long tunnel for a long period? So of time? They, they actually the Seattle Fire Department spent a lot of time studying this. So one of the things they're going to do, let's say there is a crash in front of you and you're in the tunnel, the Seattle Fire Department is not going to be out at this end of the tunnel. Basically, what's ahead of the crash is going to be able to exit the tunnel. Right. Hmm. They will obviously traffic will be stopped. They will send firefighters in, and then those firefighters. And vehicles will then drive in the wrong way to whatever lane, whatever direction of travel they is to get to the, that accident because they'll never be able to get down. Even though there's a shoulder, uh, you know, an eight-foot shoulder on one side, about a two-foot shoulder on the other, I don't think that'll be enough room to bring the big mm -hmm. fire trucks in, uh, particularly as people start to move in. So there is a plan for that to send people in through the emergency entrances to get to the people. But again, those emergency entrances and exits are on either side of the tube. There's not emergency exits in the middle of the tunnel. Just right. like anybody there anybody no who's deep into the tunnel is going to be kind of stuck there until it's and, all clear. Well, as you go in there, and you, I don't know if you can see any in the graphic, apparently you can't, they hadn't put it on when the shot was taken, but it will show you when you get out of your car, wherever that is, it will say it's 900 feet that way or it's 400 feet this way hmm. to gotcha. your nearest. And it's not like you got to go all the way to the end, because remember, the tunnel is a combination of the drilled part, the board part, the birth of the machine, which is long gone, dead, and this cut and cover section at the end. So the overall length is, is, uh, is two miles. Hmm. It's a long way, but... All right, some okay. good information there. But it won't Glenn be too Farley. long until we find out what, what effect that has. Uh, right. We'll see. Glenn, thanks.